Hi everyone, uh, my name is uh, Fazluddin. Uh, today I am going to explain about uh, the difference between uh, NoSQL and uh, SQL. So this is really interesting topic uh, as per my knowledge why because uh, many techies want to know uh, what exactly the difference between SQL and NoSQL and uh, which one has to choose when. So uh, this slide will slides will help you out to find that uh, answer i hope so so let's start with the overview and uh, then we will go through all the differences then we'll summarize the final uh, answer let's move to the overview as part of the overview uh, i'm going to give some high level information about uh, sql and no sql uh, NoSQL is a category of databases distinctly different from MySQL. Uh, NoSQL means not only SQL. So it is not only the SQL and it has many features uh, which is really differs from uh, SQL. And uh, SQL server and relational databases is already there in the market and uh, this uh, SQL uh, databases are provided from uh, many vendors and uh, it is there from almost 20 years and it is still uh, leading the market comparatively NoSQL but still uh, NoSQL is uh, coming into the market with uh, very good features and uh, NoSQL databases uh, that enable storing unstructured and uh, heterogeneous data which uh, gives a scalability in the database uh, level and uh, because of that it is very popular also there are number of technologies in uh, NoSQL category including uh, document uh, databases key value stores column family stores and uh, graph databases uh, which are popular with uh, gaming and uh, social uh, uh, sites or whatever it is like social uh, frameworks whatever we are de developing for uh, social websites kind of thing and uh, SQL databases are primarily called as uh, relational uh, databases whereas uh, no SQL databases are primarily called as uh, non-relational uh, databases okay and no SQL databases are also called as uh, distributed uh, uh, databases SQL databases have a predefined schema whereas no SQL databases have a dynamic schema for unstructured data uh, so that is what the main difference and uh, SQL databases are not best fit for hierarchical data storage but NoSQL databases fits for fits better for the hierarchical data storage as it follows key value pair. You need to note the point and uh, a data similar to JSON it will store in the database. Uh, let's move to the next slide. Uh, here in this slide uh, you will see like uh, which are the domains uh, will use uh, NoSQL and SQL. Uh, mostly NoSQL if you see uh, gaming is there, social media is there and uh, IoT is there and uh, web is there and mobile is there and enterprise is there, key value store is there, document database is there and uh, column family store is there. And uh, coming to the SQL uh, we have web mobile, enterprise, data, mart and relational table storage and relationship uh, use joins are there. So if you see, if you notice here, like uh, we have uh, web in both the side, okay, and mobile is there in both the side and enterprise is there in both the side, okay. So you might be surprised uh, like uh, why it is there in both the side. See, I will tell you the use case like uh, where uh, some applications or projects uh, where we might need to use uh, no sql and sql okay that depends upon the design and the data usage okay what kind of data usage is happening and what kind of data we are storing and uh, what kind of um, uh, scenarios uh, we need to handle with the database uh, data so in that cases uh, we need to use both okay so some cases one, some cases both. Okay, so it depends upon the scenario we need to use it, and depends upon the requirement. Okay, and unnecessarily we should not use uh, no SQL, and unnecessarily we should not use uh, SQL also. Okay, uh, I hope you guys clear, and uh, we can move to the next slide.
okay in this slide uh, i'm going to explain uh, model what model uh, no sql have and my sql is uh, following here and uh, coming to the no sql uh, non relational data model it uses and uh, stores data in a json documents key value pairs white column stores or graphs okay and uh, coming to the no sql relational uh, database data model and uh, stores data in table okay let's move to the next line uh, here we are going to see the details about uh, data what kind of data it's going to store in no sql and sql uh, coming to the no sql offers flexibility as not every record needs to store the same property so it can be like uh, different kinds of properties can be stored in the database uh, new properties can be added on the fly this this really good feature in the nosql like uh, whenever we want we can add the uh, properties on the fly and uh, good for semi structure complex and nested data and uh, wherever we will see uh, semi structure not pretty structured format or a little bit complex data if you find uh, and nested data like linked to each other some nested data types are there like if you see in uh, json for example json we have nested data okay so that kind of data we can store in the noisql okay and uh, relation captured by denormalizing data and presenting data in a single object in a single record normally uh, data will be stored in a single document kind of thing okay most of the data will be stored and you can plug how much uh, one data need to be added we can add it into the and different kinds of properties also we can maintain into that okay and uh, coming to sql used where the solution for every record has same property so like many times like a same kind of uh, properties uh, data will be there so we will like it's like a structured data okay so we will handle in uh, sql and adding properties may require altering schema this is the limitation okay when you add uh, when you want to extend the data uh, you need to alter the uh, schema sometimes okay and uh, backfilling of data will be happens uh, and uh, good for uh, structured data so this is the catch okay it is good for the whole structured data relations are captured in a normalized model using joins oh okay. this is a very good feature which has in sql like uh, we have a joins we can uh, integrate multiple uh, data sets and we can retrieve the data and resolve references across the table so there are different references will be there so we can resolve using this uh, sql let's move to the next slide uh, in this slide i am going to explain uh, schema okay so database means uh, everyone will think about uh, schemas okay schemas then data okay so here uh, no sql will have this uh, uh, facility like uh, in a no sql database uh, data can be added anywhere and at any time dynamic or flexible schema so this is like a, there is no fixed schema here that is what i am going to tell here okay so we will have a flexible schemas okay? database is a schema agnostic and schema is dictated by the application as per the application we will change the schema it's not uh, as per the schema we will develop the application here that is a catch okay this allows for agility and uh, highly iterative development okay wherever you will see like uh, uh, agility and uh, highly iterative development process okay and model development model there you can have no sql okay uh, that's what it uh, means and uh, let's move to the sql uh, uh, strict schema and uh, it has a very strict schema it's impossible to add data until you define the tables okay so until you define the table the structure you can't uh, do anything okay as a uh, schema has to be defined for that your data schema must be designed and implemented before any business logic that is what uh, before implementing any code or any business logic you have to be have schema okay and schema must be maintained and kept in a sync between application and database always schema should be in a sync with the application and database let's move to the next slide and uh, now we came into that uh, design level concept like consistency and availability okay and uh, no sql like uh, eventually to strong consistency supported depending on the solution it depends on the solution uh, what kind of uh, data what kind of uh, design we are doing depends upon the consistency will be supported and uh, cap I mean, cap means the consistency availability and performance theorem is followed here be treated to meet the needs of the application 
and uh, coming to the SQL, a strong consistency enforced here. So it will be enforced to maintain the consistency in the SQL. Consistency is prioritized on the availability and performance. Okay, and uh, let's move to the next slide. Uh, here is the performance uh, we are going to discuss here. Like uh, performance plays the key role in uh, any application development, like uh, any uh, any application, like uh, what is the uh, throughput value and uh, what is the update time and what is the insert time. So we'll talk about the time everywhere, like uh, whenever the application runs. So coming to the no SQL, like performance can be increased by reducing the consistency like consistency and performance are linked here actually so if you are not uh, much uh, keen to consistency you can go to the performance if needed okay all information related to the entity is typically in a single record so we already discussed this one so it will be mostly in a one record we will store all the information so update can happen in one operation and uh, coming to sql uh, insert and update performance is depend on uh, uh, how fast write is committed okay like we will need inside uh, the data how fast it is happening as a uh, string consistency is uh, enforced here okay performance can be increased by scaling up uh, available uh, resources and using in memory structure like in memory how much memory it is taking and uh, depends upon that we can uh, do the scaling uh, of the application and performance also depends upon that information about entity may be spread across many tables and rows and require many joins to complete and update our query so here the when we talk about the sql uh, performance like uh, uh, we will have multiple tables and we need to join it and if you are not joined properly and if you are not use indexing properly then performance uh, automatically will get decreased but we have a uh, we can achieve that one by doing the necessary steps let's move to the next slide here we are going to talk about transactions and uh, scale okay coming to the noise transaction acid transaction support varies per solution as for the solution we can handle uh, acid transactions and uh, for sql like supports uh, acid transaction by default and uh, scale means uh, scalability how we can scale the uh, noise scale noise sc no uh, scaling is typically achieved horizontally with uh, data partitioning to span servers okay so horizontally we can achieve this one using the data partitioning okay we need to note that point okay and sql links uh, scaling is typically achieved uh, vertically with uh, more server resources okay it, it achieved through uh, uh, vertically okay more server we adding the uh, more servers we can achieve that one and uh, let's move to the next slide uh, here we are going to talk about the support like uh, whenever we are adopting some technology we always look for uh, what kind of support uh, we will get when you adopt the technology so that is a, that is also very crucial like uh, when you stuck somewhere and uh, you were looking for uh, some solution if you didn't get the solution then uh, it's like uh, it's uh, money and uh, time waste kind of time and money waste okay so you can say anything okay so coming to the NoSQL, NoSQL database uh, mostly it comes with the uh, open sources uh, so you still have to rely on community support and uh, only limited outside uh, experts are available for you to set up deploy your large scale of now now a lot of expertises are there like mongodb and all other noise databases uh, many uh, people are expertise into that so uh, now we have more support than previously okay so no need to bother much but still you can adopt noise uh, without any issues and coming to the SQL, uh, like excellent support is there why? because it, is, it was there from long time. I, as I told in the previous slides, like it is uh, there from almost 20 years. So it has a uh, well established uh, forums are there and uh, we can get a uh, lot of expertise to get the help. There are a lot of independent consults also there. So who can provide the lot of uh, support. Okay, let's move to the next slide. Uh, here we are going to talk about data integrity. Integrity is like... Uh, uh, one of the one more uh, key uh, point uh, where we look as part of the design so uh, the same data uh, in for NoSQL like uh, the same data integrity options are not available in NoSQL database so you can store what you want regardless of any other documents okay ideally a single document will be sole source of all information about an item so integrity part like in NoSQL uh, not that much uh, preferable here why because it's to be complete data into the one uh, document okay regardless of any other document so independent documents we are going to store and uh, coming to the SQL like most SQL database allow you to enforce data integrity rules 
using foreign key considerations like it has a foreign key so we can it will make sure that integrity is maintained and uh, the schema enforces there are schema rules also you can create so as per the rules we need to uh, developers uh, everyone has to follow to implement the application okay so there that is like uh, it will enforce uh, the developers and other team to make sure that uh, this rule should be followed and integrity is maintained in sql i uh, will move to next slide uh, coming to the joins uh, no sql doesn't have uh, no joins okay and uh, this has to be handled uh, programmatically okay so if you have uh, multiple uh, documents and if you want to fetch the data so you have to write a program to handle these joins okay multiple uh, documents you have to fetch and then you have to handle these joins and uh, manipulate the data and as per your requirement uh, coming to the sql like sql queries offer a powerful join class so we can we have by default joins so we can have different kinds of joins in that we can use those things in sql let's move to the next slide here this is a sample queries i have given here in the slide for your reference like uh, to compare like uh, it's not much difference in the querying part and implementation part if you are once you're familiar with any no sql or sql i think you will understand easily what we are doing in the queries this is a sample slide which can be skipped actually okay just uh, we can skip this line uh, here is a summary like uh, we are in the last slide so uh, we will go to come to the conclusion like uh, where we need to use the sql and where we need to use the no sql uh, projects where sql is ideal is uh, logical uh, related discrete data requirements which can be identified upfront so in that case we can go for the sql data integrity is essential wherever you think data integrity is essential let's go to the sql standards based power proven sorry a proven technology with good developer experience and support in that case we can go to the sql okay <clears throat> and projects where no sql is ideal unrelated in indeterminate or evolving data requirements like uh, unrelated indeterminate you, did, you don't you don't know the requirements in evolving our data requirements you are in still in evolving our data requirements in that case you can go to that uh, no sql simpler or looser project objectives if you want to have the looser uh, project objectives and simpler objectives then you can go for this no sql able to start coding immediately without uh, waiting for that uh, structuring the data and defining what objects has to be created you can start the programming speed and scalability is imp imperative so here if you want to um, have the performance wise and scalability wise you can go for the noise sql uh, so we completed the walkthrough of this uh, noise sql sql uh, difference and i hope you guys enjoyed this uh, slides presentation so if you like this presentation just uh, subscribe uh, my channel technology adda for more videos Thank you so much. Thanks for watching my video.